what's up you guys welcome back to the vlog it is a beautiful sunny day outside i'm enjoying myself i'm drinking a half and half black tea half lemonade oh, when was the last time you had an arnold palmer spring is here baby it is time and i am just in such a good mood a the weather b I'm just really in charge of my life at the moment and that feels really good. I'm doing the things that I want to do. I'm living my life the way that I want to live it. I'm working in a way that works for me and I'm just feeling overall pleased with myself. I am a huge proponent for self-improvement and leveling up, which is why I've teamed up with today's sponsor, Fabulous. Fabulous is an app. It's the number one self-care app that will help you build healthy habits to live the life that you want to live, whether that be being more disciplined and getting a better work ethic, avoiding distractions, or something a little bit more simple like improving your mental health. Not that that's simple, but like it's hard to do anything else if you don't even have your mental health in check. I spent a lot of last year trying to figure out what it is that I even like and how I can fit those things into my routine. I'm gonna back up and screen record me going through the challenge with you, like how you would set it up. So it says, what time will you take on your new deep work challenge? And I think 2 p.m. is when I like to work the best. Um, well, actually, no. Let's do 9 a.m. I've been waking up early. Home is where I work. I'm going to call it the deep work challenge. Last step, increase your chances of success. Pick three or more superpowers to start your challenge. Um, maybe a mindful ritual. Self-discipline, mental toughness, visualize your success. Inhale for five seconds. Sustain for three seconds. Exhale for seven seconds. Think of your performance statement. What's the main thought that will be most helpful for your life now? Visualize yourself in vivid detail, going through some of the hurdles and surmounting them by repeating a performance statement. That's a little taste of how it works. If you want to get a free week trial of the premium membership or up to 25% off of premium membership, I'll have a link in my description box. Click it, give it a try. Come on, don't you want to level up? Okay, on to today's vlog. Beautiful sunny day. I want to do a makeup tutorial because I haven't put makeup on since doing my hair. Um, how are you vlog? What's up? Okay, you know what? What's up? I will tell you. So I take these vitamins in the morning and they have little prompts on them. Care of, I'm sure you know. Today's question was, if a movie was made about your life, what would it be called? And I posted it on my story. Hello with a little question box saying best response wins. Assuming everyone was reading it, if a movie was made about your life, what would it be called? I did not mean to open up this can of worms. People started submitting movies about my life and some people were submitting movies about their life and some of them are brutal and it's difficult to tell the difference. So I had to follow up and be like, the prompt said movie about your life, not mine. Yeah, some of y'all either think some rough things about me or rough things about yourself. And some of them are so on the line. Like, I can tell if it's like sexy Lexi in the city. Like, yeah, yeah, obviously that one's about me. Living on strawberries, definitely for me. Spaghetti again, can't be about me. I don't think I've ever brought up spaghetti in my life. What the fuck is going on? Honestly, same, that could be for me or not. One girl, one water bottle. I don't think that's about me, but that's funny. Three doctors later, ton of medical tests, and I am just 7.5 months pregnant, parentheses, with an IUD. That's so brutal. High and healing. Oh, I love that. Strawberries and silk dresses, here for it. Live in La Vida Lexi. Big Lex Dogs New York Minute. No sex, just the city. I like my mind more than my face. Dumpster fire. Some of you guys are funny. 
um, like one in ten was about me. I wanted zero in ten to be about me. I wanted you to think about you. If I had a movie made about myself, I would call it My Inner Goddess is a Dits. <laughs> or I'd probably... Let's see, I've had some good podcast titles, and that's one of my favorite podcast episodes. Maybe not my favorite, I don't know. Does this look gross or good to you? Because this looks good to me, but I could see it looking gross. We have flax seeds, chia seeds. Looks like I really went heavy on them, it's just a tablespoon. Oatmeal and macadamia nut milk. I think it's low-key pretty. I need to know if it's just a personal taste or if this is like wildly accepted as like, oh, it's kind of artsy. Look at your kind of artsy wellness oatmeal. I don't particularly care if you think it's good looking. I'm just curious, you know? Like, I'm, just, I'm not gonna waver my opinion. So. Oh my. All right, water is boiling. I'm making a pasta recipe. I was going to make it for dinner, but I was hungry for lunch. And nothing else sounded good, so I was like, why not make it early? My favorite pasta shape, as asked multiple times when I asked for questions on my podcast, I'll tell you, it's rigatoni. I think it's fabulous. So, that is the pasta that we're using for today's recipe. I will link the video that I found the recipe from below. Seven to nine minutes, okay. So at 3.01, y'all should be done the main ingredients that you're going to need are what does she call this pasta creamy garlic and mushroom pasta obviously you're gonna need garlic and mushrooms i was feeling v lazy last night because i was going to make it last night so i got pre-cut mushrooms which don't even look as good let alone probably are it's so lazy whatever i'm not gonna judge you if you get it as well then no what is this chef selection no wrong green Baby spinach. We're probably going to need butter. This one is so good. If you don't eat dairy, don't buy this one. But this is salted butter, European style butter. This is a New York local butter. It is absolutely fine. Vegan cream cheese. This is my favorite Parmesan. Mmm, it's so good. I have pasta water steaming my face. Who needs a Vanity Planet steamer when you can have pasta water? I'll move this Jones Road makeup. It's for makeup. <laughs> I don't even like have please. Ugh. You know how Carrie Bradshaw keeps like shoes in her kitchen cabinets? I keep makeup in my kitchen. Literally when we first moved in here, I didn't have a place to store my makeup because I didn't have a desk or anything. So I would keep my makeup container <laughs> in the side of the kitchen bar. Baby Bella mushrooms, check. Three garlic cloves, check. Two ounces of cream cheese. One cup of milk. Ew! I got the lactose free because I literally didn't think I could commit. So this is some probably even mildly scarier variation. Real milk, no discomfort. I don't know. Olive oil, salt, pepper, basil, parsley. I don't have salt. I mean, I don't have basil or parsley. That's okay. We'll make it work. I'll figure something else out. I always do. I always do. Olive oil on the pan. Mushrooms. These need like minutes to cook, so I will just come back when there's something more interesting to show you. We got a cream sauce going, and I'm going to toss in some bagel, bagels, basil that I just went to the bodega to get, which I couldn't stop at the bodega without also picking these up. My absolute fave. I've started to accidentally break some of the noodles, so they're not looking as presentable as I would like them to be, but I tasted the dish, and it's absolutely perfect. I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely make this. If you've ever been to Maggiano's, it's an Italian chain. My dad and I always get the Rigatoni D. We share it when we go. And this tastes a lot like that. Which reminded me of home. Space that she could always kind of add to and keep collecting and keep pulling in pieces that had meaning for her. John brought in this package for me. So I figured why not open it since I'm vlogging today. It says fragile all over it. I don't know who it's from. Black art and design. Oh, wait, this is from a subscriber. Hang on now. She made this. 
Wow. It says Lexi on it. You see? Two gifts from subscribers today. Two art gifts. I'll show you the other one too. Obviously, why would I show one and not the other? <gasps> she wrote a, like a really long note. Okay, so this is a little extra tray coaster sun catcher. It's, it's resin. That's what I was going to guess, but I wasn't positive. LAC Art and Design. I'll link her Instagram below. <gasps> you see the rainbow peeking out already? Ta-da! So you can put it up to your window. You can hang it anywhere. Let's see. Thank you so much. And then... Will sent me one of his prints, which I got to pick out as well. All of y'all are so talented. And look at how nice this packaging is. He has little stickers, Hello Kitty, gold stars. And I chose this image of a woman who is sunburned. So cute, so funny. His Instagram is Will World, world with a U, W-U-R-L-D. In case you wanna get yourself a little wall print, he has a ton. And now I just have new decor for my room. My heart, it's so warm. The fact that I have some of your art in my home. <laughs> it's 5.05. Golden hour, baby. We're going to Rite Aid. And this, and that, this is fine. I got so carried away with my book. I finally hit the halfway mark. I think I've been reading this three days now. Anyway, conversational friends, so addicting. Anyway, I put on Taylor Swift Fearless because I feel like I needed something to feel safe in the morning. It's so strange. It's not even the morning, it's noon now. I literally got so carried away with my book. Every single chapter I got to, I was like, okay, well, we'll just do one more, just one more. And then I got to that one, and I was like, just one more, and then I couldn't stop. So then I was like, clean the apartment, but now I'm like, let's do a haul. I purchased a good bit at Sephora, as well as some drugstore items as well. First thing, Elf's Tone Adjusting Face Primer. I'm putting it on now because my face is a little red. My cousin Morgan uses this, and she got me hooked on it. It really works. And then... My favorite eyeliner of all time. L'Oreal's Felt Tip Liquid Liner. I also got some makeup sponges, makeup removing wipes. I tried to stop buying these because I wanted to use a cleansing oils, cleansing balms, but sometimes, sometimes when you just have a ton of makeup on, it's easier to start with a wipe, like when you're doing a full face, and I found myself missing them, so I figured at least have a pack at hand. Now on to Sephora because <laughs> now we're about to talk about my favorite foundation in the whole world. That's how much? It's so much but I love it. $40. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I said this in the last vlog if you watched but I was recommended one of my old videos and I clicked it and my makeup looked perfect so I was going through trying to find a makeup routine from that time and I was using this foundation and I just forgot how how absolutely perfect it is. She's back in my life. I'm normally in shade 315 but my winter shade is Y252. I always remember 315 because my birthday is March 15th. It's coming up. 
more goodies first thing that i absolutely have been dying to try ever since i watched madison beer's vogue makeup tutorial video which i know i'm not gonna look like madison beer i don't think i look like madison beer i'm not expecting to look like madison beer however she used these two products from charlotte tilbury i think she actually used several products from charlotte tilbury but these were the two in particular that i was very interested in trying a cream blush and a cream highlighter it's a little sponge i already did a swatch oh it's so good and you can really build it up just with some more dabbing so this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush in the color Pinkgasm, which is very similar to Orgasm by NARS. And then this is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. Also an absolutely gorgeous color. I'm just gonna... Oh my god. Oh. Oh, are you kidding? It's beautiful. I don't even have foundation or anything on. I want to put on all this makeup. And of course, I want to put on makeup the day that I'm wearing a white hoodie. Which let me know if anyone wants to buy these because I can always re-release the campaign. And this is the white scratch letter. I like my mind more than my face hoodie. Then, went ahead and got the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk. It's her most famous color. And I like Charlotte Tilbury's color selection because everything is all about looking sexier i'm so glad that different makeup brands have their sort of goal like i if i want to look like a bombshell i'm gonna buy stuff from charlotte tilbury if i want to look fun and funky and go to a party i'm going to go to milk makeup if i want to look like fresh and clean and look kind of effortless i'm gonna go to glossier if i want super professional grade makeup with a ton of color selection i'm gonna go to makeup forever or mac and I like that we have our options. I like that makeup's not a monopoly. Enough rambling. This is Pillow Talk. I'm finally, after a hundred years, getting on the bandwagon to try NARS Creamy Concealer. And last but not least, Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And forgot about this. Chose my birthday gift because it's my birthday month. I have the worst birthday month of the whole year. I should be biased, but I'm not. March is probably the worst time of year, especially after COVID hitting really hard in March and lockdown beginning for most of America in March. I think March is going to be mildly traumatizing for a lot of people. Anyway, I at least got to pick out some fun products from Sephora. Now I am gonna clean the house. cardio in so long i checked an app that i used to track my runs i haven't gone on a long run since october it's march that's like six months ago well it was just well it was end of october somewhere like four months ago so i jumped rope instead because this run was faulty my leggings kept sliding down and my shirt kept sliding up do you want to say hi to the vlog sure hi vlog Someone just kicked my friend in the knee. A man came up to her on the sidewalk and kicked her in the knee. Like the, uh, that's assault. That's, anyway, not even my business to be telling you, but the experiences that my friends and I have had in New York, I shared one on a podcast episode of a man. I, I was violated. It's so horrible. Um... <laughs> not to bring down the mood or anything. Anyway, my run was short because my leggings were shimmying down and my long sleeve shirt underneath was shimmying up and I was felt like I was accidentally getting naked on my run. So I decided to come back here and I picked up the jump rope and jump rope for not long, like five minutes. Um, but you know what? A booty workout, seven minute booty, a 12 minute run and five minute jump rope. See, 12 plus 7, 19 plus 5, a 24 minute workout. Hey, no complaints here. 